Tennessee, end of course. Algebra 1, practice test, question number 26. Which function represents the linear pattern shown in the table? Uh, in a previous question, I discussed the idea that a function acts as sort of a machine, whereas your x value is an input and your f of x is your output. So I'm going to use these machines to plug in the values for x and see if I get the anticipated outcomes that I want. The thing that I do after I remember to do that is put parentheses around the x in each term. That will make your life much easier. It will help with all that negative junk that goes on. So I'm going to try the first one. I'm going to do 3x minus 5, so I do 3 parentheses. 1 is the x value I'm going to try to push in. And I get negative 2, which is exactly what I wanted to get in the first place. My job is to make sure that it works for the rest. I get 1 there. You probably want to try to make sure that at least three of them work. And this one is so short that why wouldn't I just do the last one? And I get 7. So the answer to number 26 is F. If it hadn't have worked, I would have gone down to 2x minus 4 and plugged in 1 for x, so 2 times 1 minus 4, and see if it would give me this answer. And then try uh, 2 and get look for this, 3 and look for this. It's a pretty simple system to get the answer.